Here's a fun little fact for you. Turns out the Julia compiler can actually give you back type stability even though you've lost your type information. Now, how does that work? Well, you can have something called world splitting optimizations. A nice example of this is done with the is equals function. So let's say you don't know what your types are in the function that goes into is equals a comma b, right? You could probably immediately understand that whatever comes out of there is a Boolean. Well, it turns out that if you do not, you know, if you do not do anything weird, then inside of a REPL, every single function that calls is equal is going to output a Boolean. And so even if you have type stability going into that function, you don't know what the type of A is, you don't know what the type of B, Julia compiler can, it can know that what comes out of there is a Boolean and specialize the rest of your computation on that, many times fixing your type stability. This is actually the reason for invalidations. If you define a function which then does is equals and doesn't return a Boolean, then you're a bad actor and now you're losing your type stability after that. So this is the world splitting optimization and one of the reasons for invalidations, but also one of the reasons why you get performance even when you're not trying very hard.